Good morning, everyone. I'm Regina Barco, I'm 20 years old, and I'm from Guatemala. The reason why I asked for a translator is because my first language is Spanish, so I wish you could understand me, and well, we can start. Uh, I'm a law student, and the reason why I'm studying is because I want to be the voice of those who do not have one. And when I say that, what I mean is like animals and plants. Mm -hmm. And also, I would like to share my advocacy with all of you guys. And it's very simple, like I want you to know that like, you can be part of this new movement, and it's called plugging. And what does plugging mean? Well, plugging is a Swedish movement, and helps your body, and also helps the whole earth. All you have to need is leggings, sneakers, t-shirt, plastic bag, and the most important, a fito. So when you're doing any sport or doing your running routines, you're picking up the track you're finding your way. We know that we won't stop the contamination, but we are making people conscious of stop doing it. And also, they will follow positive things that you are making. Hi, um, <coughs> Regina. You said that you want to be the voice for the voiceless. How do you think can we achieve climate justice for our people? How can we be the voice of the voiceless? How can we have climate justice for the people? Well, I think that uh, education is the most important here. So for me, I think that we need to educate people, but not just people, we have to educate the little kids because they are the future of our generations. Thank you. Okay, Ms. Guatemala, if your parents tell you to break up with a boyfriend that you love, would you take their advice or follow your heart? <laughs> So funny question. <laughs> yes. Well, um, I think that God gave me the parents because they are the perfect for me. So if they told me what to do, I just keep follow what they do because God always says what your party says is like what you have to do, and if they right, I'm right. That's good. <laughs> Hello, my mama. Hey. Hi, I just like, since you're, you're studying law. Yes. Okay, um, and as we human beings have legal rights, okay? And I'd like to find out, though, do you think it's high time for us to recognize ecosystems and species as legal entities as a way of boosting their protection and intensifying their the threats? Podemos reconocer en medios ambientes y especies como entidades legales de forma que se pueda mejorar su situación a nivel político. Of course, but I think that well, this is my second year at Lula, so I'm still learning and how can I uh, approach to it. So I'm still learning about it, and then I will start to know how can I fight with it. <laughs> Tell us more about Guatemala. <laughs> well, Guatemala is a culture full of culture and also gastronomy. And people are so friendly, so kind. So I wish you guys, you can visit my country. You will really in love and enjoy it. So, and also we have different, different kind of climate. If you want to go to the beach, you can go in this way. And if you want to be in another place that it's cold, you can go. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> So you have four seasons. Yes. Oh, you mentioned about food a while ago, that's right. What's, what's, what's one food that describes or that will clearly identif be identified as Guatemala? Oh, too many food. Like, I don't know which one I can choose. But the most I like is called gallina and crema. Yes. I would like to cook for you guys. <laughs> Sorry, what's that? What's that being on? What is that? Um, it's ham on cream. Because it's actually. Eh, crema. Cream. Loroco. Loroco, no sé nada como. Ah, okay. The pumpkin. <laughs> Arroz. Rice. Uh, gallina. Ham. Y es demasiado delicioso. And so, so, so tasty. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs>